What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Lou back in it again with my team video. Today's my video is on the Lou Williams that came out with a flash set. And literally he's a glitch player. But before we get into it, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 300 subscribers by the end of January. And you guys have showing crazy support. I appreciate all the support lately. And yeah, let's keep running it up, man. And like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's free, man. It's free. But literally, Lou Williams is a point guard slash shooting guard from the Clippers. Well, he used to be on... Wait, is he still on the Clippers? I don't even remember. No, he's not on the Clippers anymore. But he's six foot one, 175 pounds. With a 90 mid-range, 93-point shot, a 65 driving duck, 86 ball handle, a 75 block, a 95 steal, 95 perimeter defense, with a 55 interior D, uh, 48 offensive and defensive rebound, which uh, you don't really expect Lou Will to like, grab rebounds or anything like that because he is six foot one at the end of the day. But he's glitched because of his defense because they had 95 perimeter D and 95 steal, which is pretty damn good, and a 75 block. Um, he has a 95 speed with a 95 speed with ball with a 95 acceleration, 75 vert. 59 strength. He's not going to be the strongest. He's six foot one, and he is the will, and he's at the point where he really doesn't need that much strength. Um, he has 92 uh, stamina with a 96 lateral quickness, 96 pass perception, 95 dis defensive consistency. It's a stutter my ass off with a 98 offensive consistency, which really doesn't matter in my opinion. Um, where is his stats? He has a pass interception of a 60. That's his tendencies. I don't know why I like speaking like this right now. His on-ball steal tendency of a 65 with a 35 uh, contest shot tendencies. I always stutter saying that word. I don't know why. He has six Hall of Fame badges, pickpocket clamps, mismatch, mismatch expert. He has six Hall of Fame badges, pickpocket clamps, mismatch expert, giant slayer, and dead eye and sniper. Hopefully he comes with limitless range, man, because not even the Jeremy Lin came with limitless range. And he does come with limitless spot up. So there it is. I mean, these are all his badges. You guys can slow it down if you do want to read all those badges because that will literally make me lose my voice. But as per usual, we're going to go down to a freestyle. And then after the freestyle, after we test out all his animations and stuff like that, we're going to go out to Triple Threat Online and test him out against other players and see how he actually plays uh, in that environment and stuff like that. All right, so he has hot zones everywhere except that top left wing and a couple spots in the midi right there. They actually gave him a decent jump shot. You're lying. They actually gave him a good jump shot. In past years, Lou Williams always has a trash jump shot. In this one, you can actually get a jump shot off. And it's not too fast. It's not too slow. It sounds is pretty damn good. I actually love his jump shot. It reminds me of John Stockton's, like, upper release. But the base is way nicer than John Stockton's. Because John Stockton's is, like, um, like, more of a set release. And his really isn't. Let me try to do a little bit of a quick stop. I mean, the shot is cash. The shot is going to be cash. The main thing about this card is see how he plays, like, um, defensively. That's a good step back. Let's test out one more step back. Eh, I mean, it is in the slower end, so you really can't expect that much. All his step backs are slow, from what I can tell right there. He hasn't missed one shot to this point. Uh, does he have a different size up right now? Oh, his size up is cash. You're going to be able to cross people so fast with that jump shot. He's not going to be able to dunk at all because he only has a 65, so he might get a couple dunks, I guess. To be honest, see, like, those dunk packages, like, right there, he'll get a couple of those. But if you're expecting to dunk with Lou Williams, then you got a different thing coming, to be honest, you guys. Hey, I can't get over his size up. Let, let's play, let it play out and stuff like that. Dude, you can get so much space with this, because right on that Hezzy, you're gone. Green. And he's tired right now, and he's not missing. That was his first missed shot the whole time. Let's check out his actual fadeaway. Le going left, it is a little bit weird, but he is left-handed, so I don't know why it was like that. Fadeaway is on the slower end. It's one of the slower ones. It's not one of the good ones, in my opinion. But it is easy to time because his jump set is actually that good. Check out his behind the back real quick. Oh, he has a nice behind the back. You don't really get that much space from it, but you, it is on the quicker end. So you might be able to, like, catch somebody, like, swiftly. Not too fast, but, like, you'll be able to catch some people with that. And occasionally dunk in traffic, as you guys seen right there. Step back. I mean, there's not much more I can say about the card. The card is offensively a beast. I can tell already. Um, and yeah, let's grab one more shot. And we're going to go on to the Triple Throne Online game. There it is. So we found an opponent. And it looks like he has another little guard. So we should be able to just like body him. Honestly, that's a wide open shot. You cannot leave him that wide open. That's slightly green, baby. Come on. Come on now. You got to guard Lou Will at, like, up there, man. It doesn't even matter. He does have Chris Paul at the point. Why does Lou Will look way taller than Chris Paul? But he's only one inch taller than him. That's kind of insane. The defense on Lou Will is insane already, I can tell. Especially if he's locking up uh, Chris Paul like that easily. Oh my god, Chris Paul got up there. What the? F it's all good, though. Lou Will's already back. And that's a yoink. 
Oh, no. Kick it out. We're going to kick it out to the corner. He left him wide open, man. I'm trying to get a little pick and roll. Get over here. Get over here. Come on. We got open. We got an inch of space. And that should be cash, man. Should be cash. Honestly, I think he's probably on the same level as Chris Paul, except that Chris Paul can actually, like, uh, dunk. As he literally just crossed the living hell out of him. DeAndre Ayton is there. We're already going back. Don't worry about it. Good foul by DeAndre Ayton, man. But overall, I can tell you guys this card is insane offensively already. I like him better than um, the Jerry, the Pink Diamond Jerry Malin. I'm not even lying to you guys. He's only 2,000 MT, which is just utter, like, crazy. That's a block. How... I'm not even going to talk about it, man. I, I don't even know how that wasn't a block. That should be a bucket. And it bumped it all over whoever that is. I don't even know who that is. Wow. So the will is insane. I'm not even going to lie. Especially for the price, man. He's only 2,000 MT, which is just... In wow. Like, we're there. We're here. Don't worry about it. I mean, you really can't complain about that because that guy looks like he's like six foot eight. But... It is what it is. This guy got his size up. He literally should just literally cross everybody with his size up. Oh, where are you going? That's a good block. That's a good block. I wanted him to do a different, like, uh, spin move. He should have a wide open dunk. I mean, layup right there. Not layup. That is, that is a layup at this point, man. All right, so Chris Paul just scored two points. And literally, he just locked us up. This guy's playing a lot of computer D, so we're going to have to set it up a little bit more, um, a pick and rolls. I mean, Chris Paul's on me, bruh. Chris Paul's on me. I'm going to have to get a little bit of space, man. I mean, Jason Tatum just stays on the left side. Move, bro. Step back action. Got a little bit of space right there. Ah, we didn't get the bucket, but it's all good. It's all good. This guy's playing actually solid defense, which is kind of surprising at this point in the year, to be honest, because a lot of people don't play good defense. They just literally just don't play defense. He thinks he's getting an open bucket. We're already there, though. Lou Will should have that on clamps. I'm not worried about it. Lou Will got that. That's clamped up. JT should have that on lock no matter what. And now Lou Will's on him. That's... I mean, that was good defense. I can't get mad. That was good defense. It's Chris Paul. He's literally cooking him right now. And right now, I need I need DeAndre Aiden to set some big body screens, man. Big body Miyagi's. Not that. Whatever the hell that was. He broke him. Shot wide up a shot. Green B, baby. You can't give him that much space, man. You cannot give him that much space. But Chris Paul actually seems like he's actually a solid card. I probably won't do a review on him because I can't afford to. I mean, I don't know what the hell that switch was. And he's just getting the best animations. He's literally getting the best animations. I mean, that's a bucket. Chris Paul's nowhere to be found. And he literally just bopped him. He just bopped him, man. The hyperdrive gold uh, badge is literally just... You can, you can see it. Especially with the gold uh, dribble style and everything like that. Right now, we're actually playing really solid defense on Chris Paul. And keep in mind, he's an Opal that costs like 300k. Or like 200 I don't know why Jason Tatum didn't even help him right there at all. But it is what it is, I guess. I mean, JT's there. We're going to get right back. He knows that I'm trying to give it to him. So it is what it is, man. We're going to try to get a quick steal right here. And PG's probably going to end it right there. I mean, that's a two-pointer. So we get another shot at winning this game. We just got to win, man. Step back. Kick it out to JT. That's a bucket. Or not. Because PG's locking him up right now. We're going to get Lou Will on PG. See how he does. Because, oh, that's green. Uh, yeah, I knew that was going to be green. He left him way too much space. But overall, especially for the price, he's only 2,000 MT. It's like, keep that in mind. I definitely think he's a better value than Chris Paul. Unless you value, like, uh, like catching bodies, I guess. But other than that, like, Chris, uh, like, Lou Will is up there with him. Like, straight up, he's up there with him. Uh, let me know if you guys pick up the card or anything about the card you guys want me to do for future cards and stuff like that. But... Man, I love the card. He's definitely going to stay on my team. And he's only 2,000 MT, man. Just give him a try. And it's been your boy, Lou. And we out the day. Peace.